Hey, 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 everybody, Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. And today, we're in space. This is actually a space station called, well, it used to be called Club Never Die because it was owned by Never Die, a famous avatar in Entropia Universe. Right now, it's known as FOMA, or Asteroid FOMA, I believe that's the name of it, um, or how it's pronounced. This one basically, Asteroid F.O.M.A, yeah. So, what this is, is an asteroid that had, that has at one point been sold to another avatar. It was sold for about 100,000 US dollars, later valued over a million dollars. So, that dude made a shit ton of money. And, uh, you know, this is part of what he got. Each, uh, you know, here you've got the main blocks. This is sort of, uh, where all the shops are. As you can see, it's pretty empty, but, uh, there's, there's a few shops still. Let's see, will this let me, there we go. So from here you can teleport sort of anywhere you want. Um, main complex north, this is just like another uh, sort of, it used to be a big trading area. I think it sort of died down just with the, you know, change in uh, ownership. But what we're gonna do is actually do some mining because that's what this place is famous for. Uh, maybe don't have that much money, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could go a little bit more in depth. All right, that work. So yeah, this this place used to be filled with people, everybody trading stuff, buying, selling, whatever. Uh, obviously, it's not anymore. I checked out here, still not filled with people. This is sort of a racetrack. There used to be more vents held here. Right here you've got apartments. So if you're looking at an apartment on Club Never Die or FOMA, um, these are your alpha apartments, these are your beta apartments. I do not have one so we're not going to bother going there. And these are your land areas, they're called biodomes. There's a ton of them as you can see, and by ton I mean 20. Each one has a north point and a south point. So you can go into these biodomes and hunt whatever mobs here. These mobs are put there by the owner, um, and basically they can vary. And you know, um, so it's, it's a lot of people like it for hunting. Personally, I like it because the mining here is insane. You won't hit stuff often, but when you do, it's huge. Uh, let's let's see if we have any luck here. So yeah, if you're a miner, this place is legendary. Like, the loot that you can pull off here is uh, pretty insane. This is where a lot of those globals, the hoffs, everything like that comes from here. Oh, I've got to select a resource to scan, that makes sense. Let's see if we can get lucky today. It's very rare to hit anything. Um, a lot of miners, when they go here, they're using amps. Just because when you do get a hit, it's going to be huge. Like, 50 PED minimum almost. Although that's actually a lie. I've had 30 PEDs here before. I haven't been here since it was Club Never Die. So if something's changed, feel free to let me know. But, really cool place for mining. If you want, like, I wouldn't come here to shoot these things. You can do that on Calypso. But there are some unique mobs out here. Because, uh, you know, the owner of this space station has some big box. As I said, it's going to be a pretty boring run here, but uh, my hope is that we can find something and show you guys what a true, true hit is here. But, yeah, as you can see, you know, if you don't have the right... Uh, right gear if you don't have the amps it's gonna be a bit of a waste of money this is a bit of a waste for me just because I'm not likely to hit anything um, I used to know some professional miners that would go here they'd canvas the whole area um, they'd be using I think like 108s amp wise probably spending about two to three thousand PED per run and on, in general they'd actually be making a pretty good return here we go I think we might have a uh, tower up here is this a tower? Yeah. So here, here you've got a claim that no one's even at. Uh, it's probably huge. 
can get the info on it? No. Alright. Yeah, but it, like people are very uh, particular. Like if the miner that hit that claim was there, he would not be happy with me dropping something there. Um, sometimes there's rehits, but obviously if he can just leave it sitting there, it's pretty big. There's also a speaker system installed so that it can be, uh, you can have DJs and all that sort of thing going on. When I used to play uh, Never Die, who at the time owned the island, he used to uh, always have like someone coming on on Saturdays and all that, or Sundays, be announcing stuff. That's why the racetrack was here. I think he had big plans for this place, and then he sold it to uh, buy Rock Tropia, which I'll be showing later, so you won't miss out. Let's try another place real quick here. I'm only I'm gonna do two domes. That's all I promise. I won't bore you guys too much here. Uh, if you if you like this planet, if you like anything, want to know more, just feel free to let me know. I'm not gonna complain too much. All right, so let's try a different one. Let's go with this. And I don't know what these domes actually have in them anymore. Again, it's been a while since I've come up here. I just don't go big. Alright, here's another dome. As you can see, each one has a different, like, ecosystem, very biodiverse, very cool. You sort of can experience a lot of different, uh, you know, different areas, or not areas, sorry, uh, different, um, landscapes. There you go. There you go, I got some skill, that's a good sign. No, maybe not. I said a lot of these are left open now just because a lot of miners come here actually all these domes could be open for all I know oh here we go here we go what is this is it big boom look at that look at that not too bad and there we go that backs up my claim so uh, pretty big claims here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and until next time